Joey. Yeah, sorry, I'm running late. Nope, I'm packing up right now. Yep, I've got my books, my sketches. Oh, you know what? I forgot my measuring tape. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Hey, babe. Hey! Wow! Oh, thank you. What are you doing here? Oh, I got oh. tired of staying inside all the time with this thing on. Well, aren't you glad to see me? Yeah, sorry. I'm running to Zoe's, though. I'm really late. Uh, but I just walked all the way over here to see you. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, I really gotta go. Come on, I'll drive you. Uh, can't you cancel? No, I'm creating this dress for Zoe so she can wear it to her aunt's wedding. And I'm gonna put it in my portfolio so that I can try and get into the Fashion Institute. Come on. All right, I get got in. an idea. Why don't you call Zoe, tell her you're gonna be late or something, and we could go to Brandon's house. He's having a few people over. Zoe's depending on me. I promised her. I mean, how long can it take to glue some dress pattern together or whatever it is you're doing? Okay, what is your problem? My problem... You know, Zoe's really counting on me. And it's really important for me to get into this fashion school. It's like what's important to me you don't even respect. That's my problem. and artistic. Just the kind of guy I can marry. <laughs> Not that I'm ready for marriage or anything. Right. You know, my grandfather arranged my parents' marriage. No way. Yeah. They actually met on their wedding day. What? <laughs> Did he grab her by the hair, pull her into the temple, put a gun to her head? That's what they'd have to do to me. Not exactly. <laughs> Was there a dowry? Some cows and chickens, maybe? They're very funny, Zoe. <laughs> do they even like each other? Yeah, they even love each other. Look, Zoe, I know my family's different. I mean, I hardly even talk about my culture because I'm afraid people will make fun of it. I just never thought that'd be you. So you know what? Keep this conversation to yourself, okay? Oh, come on, Angeli, I was just joking. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Finish those drawings for your dress. They look so good. So great. I'm really excited. Oh. I bet it's Jackson again. <laughs> Hi, Jackson. Yeah. I have two more classes left. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Sam. That's the second time he's called this period. He has been such a, a needy baby. Well, that's not the expression I was thinking of, but yours is nicer. He's just been so clingy ever since he broke his arm and can't play football. Well, have you tried asking him not to call so much? Yeah, it's gone in one ear and out the other, to his phone. Girl, if he can't respect your space, get a new number. Okay, everybody, quiet down, please. Got your homework off the board. Zoe told me about your parents' wedding. Did your mom have to change out of her wedding dress before she rode the sacred cow? Why, she said it, not me. Ms. Turner, is there something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? Okay, new chapter, new lab. Same lab partners as last time. Can I change my lab partner? What? See you after class. Anybody else? There are a few scheduling items we need to announce, so listen up. Football practice will be 
field on the lower field, and the track team bus leaves at 2.45 on the dot. All forms and money for the band fundraiser needs to be in by this coming Monday, so you've got one more weekend to help us raise enough money for badly needed new band uniforms. Please help out. The last scheduling reminder is that Mrs. Vasquez is starting a peer mediation program to help resolve student conflict. Mediation training begins next week and will be... Hey! Hey! I'm signing up to be a peer mediator. Do you want to come with me? Uh, uh-uh. Come on! Be a mediator with me! You get along with everybody. I mean, you even see the good in JB. <laughs> no, I'm not exactly a peacemaker these days. See ya. Okay. Hey, what are you listening to? Oh, it's Emmeline Childs. <laughs> Emmeline Childs? Isn't she that whiny man hater? Gee, I can't imagine a reason why a man would say something insensitive and I would hate him. Dude, why would you diss her music like that? <laughs> Shut up, man. She says she hated men. Didn't you hear? She's like the only girl that will give you the time of day, and now she thinks you're a jerk. Yo, she knows I'm only playing with her. Look, I'm just saying there's a big difference between playing around with somebody and dissing somebody. I don't know. I think you crossed the line with that one. Whoa. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Man, they are so hot. Forget it, dude. You're not getting any of that action. <laughs> what's up? Hey, babe. What's up? What are you doing? I've got dancing practice. Yeah, and then I've got to go home and... Oh, hold on one second, okay? Hey, do you want to work on that tonight? Yeah, I've got to... I've got to be home by 9 to babysit my little sister. Well, I'll come over after practice. Okay, cool. Hey, live models in art class today. Isn't that <laughs> awesome? <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to make plans with Zoe. You're kidding me, right? You're not going to see me tonight? Jackson, you know I'm trying to get this dress done for Zoe. Yeah, I know that, but it's Friday night. I mean, what am I supposed to do? You know, you're supposed to be my girlfriend. Sam, I need you to help me. Oh, I gotta go. Jasmine needs me, okay? Catch you later. Unbelievable. Thank you. Can you and Derek hang out with him tonight, please? Yeah, I'll ask him. Jackson is getting so bored, he's starting to drive me nuts. <laughs> you must be ready to dump him. No, but his attitude is really bothering me. Like, with this dress, and with wanting all my time. I know he loves me, but it's like what I want doesn't count. Jackson, didn't she say she's working on Zoe's dress tonight? It's Jackson again. <laughs> Gotta take this. What's up? Hey, babe. You guys all done yet? Yeah, and no. I mean, I'm leaving soon, but when I get home, I gotta finish cutting the material for the dress. Well, uh, Derek and Jasmine are going to the diner. You want us to pick you up? I can't, remember? I'm babysitting. Well, uh, I don't know. How about I come over then? Derek can drop me off. I told you I'm working on the dress. I really can't see you tonight. It's like you don't even want to see me anymore. Yeah, it's fine, yeah, when I was starting quarterback and everything, but now that I'm sidelined, you're dumping me? What? This is not about you. I need to do this for me. I want to be a clothes designer. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Like you're some kind of big shot designer. You don't care what's important to me. Oh, oh, hey, hey. She hung up on me. Don't take your problems with your boyfriend out on me. I'm sorry. I'm just so frustrated. It's like I can't seem to make him understand that designing this dress for Zoe really matters to me. I don't know, ever since he broke his arm, it's all about him. Okay, it's 9 o'clock and she said she would be done. Okay, and now she's mad at me because I, I just want to spend some time with her? Look, I need to talk to her. Could you give me a ride? Hey, man, you need to just chill for a minute. Me? It's, it's her. She doesn't want anything to do with me ever since I broke this. 
It has nothing to do with your broken arm. She's mad at you because you don't respect her. That's not true. I respect her. I'm not saying you don't respect her as a person. But think about it. She told you that designing this dress for Zoe is important to her. To her future. And just now you insulted her. That big shot designer comment? You need to tell him how you really feel. It's better than fighting and messing up a relationship. I learned about that the hard way. What do you mean? My parents ended up divorced because my dad didn't respect my mom. Why? What happened? Well, my mom's really artistic, and so was her grandfather. I guess it runs in the family. Yeah. He had his own pottery studio, and my mom used to hang out there all the time when she was a kid. Anyway, my mom dreamed of opening her own pottery studio. She spent all this time thinking about it and planning everything. But my dad, he's an accountant, and if my mom wasn't going to make a bunch of money, he just didn't want her to put in all the time and effort. He just couldn't relate to the whole artistic thing. I can relate, bro. You know, I know it's been hard for you ever since you broke your arm and can't play anymore. But you got to give her some space, man, or Sam's going to leave you. And I can relate to wanting to spend all your time with Sam. I used to want all of Derek's time. <laughs> I just wasn't secure in our relationship, and I didn't respect the fact that he wanted to spend time with the guys. She was driving me crazy. I mean, we almost broke up. But we talked about it. I listened to him, and he listened to me. We worked it out. Basically, though, my dad just didn't respect my mom. He thought our whole scene was flaky, and he let my mom know it. He'd put her down, saying that playing with Clay wasn't a real job, and that she'd never succeed. He wouldn't let up. It was like... What? <laughs> did he grab her by the hair, pull her into the temple, put a gun to her head? That's what they'd have to do to me. Not exactly. <laughs> Was there a dowry? Some cows and chickens, maybe? A very funny, Zoe. <laughs> do they even like you? So finally, my mom couldn't take it anymore. She just couldn't take my father's disrespect. That's exactly how I feel about Jackson. Like, he doesn't respect what's important to me or what I want. You need to talk to him. Let him know how important your dreams are to you and that he needs to respect that. What about him being so clingy? I mean, it sounds as if he's just really unhappy with the situation right now. Let him know you care. Support him. That's what people do for each other in good relationships. Yeah, you're right. Jackson's been going through a tough time, and I can be there for him. I just have to make him respect what's important to me and what I want. Yeah. I guess if I want this relationship to work, then I've got to stop avoiding him and <laughs> deal. Thank you for helping me out. i got to think about what I want to say, and then I'll go see him. Okay. I don't want to mess up this relationship with Sam. Yeah, so don't go over there. What good can it do? Talk to her. Tell her you want to work it out. Just don't do it tonight. I hear what you guys are saying. Maybe I've been acting like a bit of a jerk lately. I just need to talk to her. I know, I know, not now. Here, take my phone. I just, I need to give her some space. Yeah. Well, since you have all this free time on your hands, you know, maybe you can help me out with some of your all-star quarterback moves? Because <laughs> you know I'm the top spot now. Yeah, yeah well, don't get too used to that, all right? Hey, Zoe, you still listening to Emmeline Childs? Sister, you need to join Man Haters Anonymous. JB, you know I like you. I think you're funny and you're quirky and that's cool. But dissing me and the music I like isn't cool. Hey, I'm just joking. Anyway, it's a free country. I have a right to express my opinion. Yeah, yeah, you do. But you don't have the right to disrespect mine. That is, if you want to be friends, think about it. <laughs> I got to go talk to someone. Dude, please tell me you did not just make things worse. I don't know, man. She just, like, told it like it is. I respect that. I actually get it. That's a pretty creative apology. 
and I accept it. Still friends? I don't know. I was pretty hurt at the things that you said. I know, and I'm so sorry. But it's like, at the time, I didn't even realize I was being disrespectful. How could you not know? I think it's hard sometimes to know if you're being stupid about someone else's culture. Especially if it's so different from your own. I mean, it's like all that stuff was so strange to me. I thought it was funny. Look, I didn't mean to be disrespectful, so you gotta let me know if I'm out of line, okay? You got a point there. But what about telling Sam after I asked you not to? Yeah, I messed up there too. Look, I'm just asking you for a chance to earn back your respect. And now, the next contestant. Hi. Coming all the hey. way from... Oh, <laughs> I made these for you. <laughs> Thanks. Look, I'm, I'm glad you're here. We, we need talk. to talk. 